y'all this is Shauna with Shauna Ray's vlog I am back today with another video this one is very exciting very simple it's a little DIY I wanted to share with you guys um, well I told you about I was gonna um, film us doing the table but y'all it took absolutely sorry my nose did you it absolutely took all day we started on that thing um, from morning till evening so there was just no way I could film that there was just no way I'm sorry sorry <laughs> um, but whenever I get my new chairs in I am going to show you guys what it turned out it is absolutely stunning it's gorgeous very pretty all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get back to this what this video is about <laughs> And sorry for the angle because I'm I'm just holding my phone. I don't have you on a tripod today. Um, but we have a little DIY. It is an industrial style farmhouse paper towel holder. We did go to Home Depot. So right now, this is what um, you know my my um, paper towel holder looks like right now. That goes on the counter, right? You know, just a normal paper towel holder. And I sit it on the counter, you know, just like right there or something like that. So, we went to Home Depot. And I'm going to show you. These are the, um, if you want to do these or, you know, I'm just going to show you what the measurements of everything is. So, I have, let's see. So, you're going to need the screws right here. You're going to need the little cap. And this is, um, and my husband's right here, so he's going to be helping as well. Um, this is the three-fourths cap. Three-fourths. Um, 90 degree elbow. 90 degree elbow. And this is a three-fourths, what was this? Floor flange. This is the. Um, floor flange. Floor flange, whatever that is. Um, and what is this? It's a three-fourths, three-inch nipple. I hope you can hear them. And uh, what is this? Three-fourths, 12-inch nipple. So we're going to put this together. And All right. Actually, it's perfect because it's like the same size as the paper towel. Literally. Right. See, it's the same size and everything. And the nipple is just to extend it down a little bit. And we're going to hook it up right here to give more counter space. All right. And now I'm going to let you watch him. Let me drill this in real quick and do this so it's first. So it's going to be a little loud. Sorry for the drilling sound. I may back up just so you don't hear it as much. But um, he is... Hopefully you can see what he's doing. There we yeah, go. Underneath the bottom here. There we go. You don't need many screws because... It's only made with holes. He did not want to be on this um, on this video, y'all. <laughs> there you go. That's up there, underneath there. And so that's up there that already. Line. It's kind of dirty over there, so I'm not going to show you everything. Take your nipple, or you can put it all together first, either one. But this is a lot quicker this way. Put the nipple in there. Bam. Your elbow next. And this little pipe right here, y'all, it was kind of, um, it had like yeah, oil and stuff oil. because it was from the plumbing department at Home Depot. So we went to Home Depot, got the stuff. And you probably could have um, got one like from Amazon or something like that for a little cheaper. I tightened it up. I forgot you said you wanted it loose. Yeah, I wanted a little loose. To, like this? Yeah. To yeah. Swing, to swing to it. it like that? Yeah, that'd be fine. If you want to tighten it, you can just take this off and tighten it. I just think this is going to be so super cute, guys. And I wanted to share it with you. Right? Super easy DIY. And I cannot remember exactly what we spent on this because we bought some paint or some... Um, and see, so you can... Um, See, it's going to be a little loose since you wanted it loose. But that way it swings out. 
And see, here, you want to put that it. on there just to show them? Pop it on there. Swing it back in. Or do it the other way. The op like, like, um, that's not OCD, y'all kicking in. Sorry. There we go. That way, all you got to do is pull it right here. Oh, y'all. I'm really hoping you can get this. See, now I have this, and it's not on there. So, I'm hoping. But isn't that adorable, guys? I absolutely love it. Thank you to my hubby. Say hello. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. That was a very good, quick DIY that I wanted to share with everyone because it's super cute, of course. All right, guys. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. We did. It was great. Everything was good. So, um, what is it? Yeah, he wants me to show you the table, but I'm not ready for that because I want you to see it with the, um, the new chairs. Because the chairs that we have right now is, um, which we could have painted the stools to go with it, but I just, we've had those stools for a long time anyways. So I said, let's get us some new stools. So they're going to be black, um, kind of like metal, not real metal, but you know, like, um, I don't know the exact name of it, but it's just metal, um, stools and they're going to be black. So yes, when they come in, I will show you the table guys. All right. Y'all have a fantastic Monday. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. Bye.